Hello everyone, Ladislas Moyes from the wanderinginvestor.com. So today I am again in Kiev. I tend to come here quite a bit. I like Ukraine <laughs> and I'm with John. John, how are you? Perfect. Welcome back to Kiev again, Ladislas. It's great you. to have you. Beautiful Thank day you. again. Sunny. Yes, amazing day. I love it. So I've done quite a bit of content with John before. He showed he showed us some offices that were yielding between 13 and 20%. Привет. Привет. Можете туда. And today he's going to show us a residential apartment because sure offices are great but a lot of investors who come to Ukraine want to buy apartments rather and John Absolutely. offers advisory services for people who want to come to Ukraine buy up essentially old apartments that are ugly do the whole renovation and then rent out or even just keep for themselves for whenever they come to Kiev. Absolutely. So we are in one of the best neighborhoods here in Kiev. It's the metro station Universität. You can see there's the university right here behind. We're in a park called Park Chevchenko. I'll show you a little bit later. Really nice park. Amazing. And the apartment is approximately a seven minute walk away from here. Yep, just a little more than uh, 150 meters from cool. here. So can you tell us about that apartment? Yeah, you bet. It's an apartment in a beautiful prime location. Obviously, it's a beautiful historical building. Actually, uh, the building's not that nice. We saw the building. Well, right. it's behind the historical facade, yeah. <laughs> There's some, yeah, exactly. There's some positives to being in the second line in that uh, it's quieter. Yeah. And some people actually really prefer that. Um, it was a bit of a disaster. And that's, you know, what we tend to buy is the ability to see past how a property currently looks. Um, we bought it, it's uh, 200 square meters. We bought for $260,000, uh, $1,100 a meter. This was a little bit of time ago, so it would be a little bit more expensive now. Um, how much more? So Well, let's run through the whole number. Then. Like, I mean, I think renovation still is about the same, uh, $650. We're all in for $1,800 per meter. I think now all in, you, if we find you a good deal, which we can do, and these are not market prices. I mean, market prices are 2,500 to buy plus renovation, 3,000. We probably all in for 2,200, something like that, depending on the specific opportunity at the time and how bad it is. You know, the worse it is, the better actually for, we'll show you what kind of renovation we can do for about $650, $700 per meter. Uh, it's more than office, but it's a beautiful four bedroom, 200 square meter, two bathroom, large open area, living room, kitchen, dining room, uh, floor to ceiling windows on the, in the dining room. Uh, really beautiful property. Cool. So we're going to go check it out. And yep. then once we're in the property, you'll elaborate on the yields as well. Yep. The rental yields based on current market value, not the price you paid for right. it. Right. We want to get an idea of I can what briefly the like it's rented right now to a European EU uh, embassy uh, we on based on our purchase price we're getting 13 and a half percent right now uh, 11 and a half 12 percent is is realistic in this market I guess the only caveat is when the video comes out when you're watching the video right now the property market in Kiev is growing very quickly and uh, construction prices and construction material prices are increasing <laughs> So that's making a difference. As you can see, kids love this place. <laughs> it's real. Cool. All right, let's go check it out. So yeah, beautiful park. People love this area. It's definitely one of the best areas in Kiev. Again, this is why embassy staff tend to live in this area. This is a nice statue of Chevchenko, the famous Ukrainian poet. John, he's a poet, right? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I, I lack culture when it comes to poetry. But yeah, just look at this amazing architecture there. Just beautiful buildings. All right, so now we are going to walk to the apartment. So here's the price list. Let's look at this. An ex a medium espresso is less than a dollar. So a dollar right now is 26 grieven. A euro is 30 grieven. So yeah, espresso less than a dollar. Americano with milk, one dollar. A latte, a bit over a dollar. Keith is still very affordable. 
prices have gone up inflation has been quite high running at probably over 10 percent a year for the last few years and the green has been very stable as well so this has resulted in restaurants being probably 50 percent more expensive than they were three years ago roughly i'd say in dollar terms but it's still incredibly good value Here's the building, historical building, objectively not that pretty, but wealthy people are fine living in there. Just look at the car park. The cars are pretty nice. You know, this is the type of area, fat Lexus, infinity, nice little Beamer. You know, this is just how things are here. Um, probably very solid building for sure. Cool. All right, let's go. All right, so here we are. All right, can you tell us about these doors, John? Yeah, we make sure we s install security doors in all of our apartments. They're $800 to $1,000 doors, but they're multi-lock systems with uh, keys that have certificates, copies can't be made, and the doors can't be forced, and they're actually even, in theory, bulletproof. Bulletproof, nice. <laughs> cool, so this is a four-bedroom apartment. So, just one of the bedrooms. So tenants are currently here. So you were saying how much is the rental per month here? The rent right now on this is four thousand two hundred dollars per month. Four thousand two hundred dollars per month. That's that's huge. Yeah, for two hundred meters. For two hundred square meters. Okay. So just over twenty, whatever twenty one dollars a a meter, which actually we might be able to rent for more. But of course, these are long term uh, tenants that are staying here that are from an EU embassy, so they pay in dollars in hard currency, they pay the rent on time, they're very stable, they're here for many years, so it's worth worthwhile to... Gorgeous, and then there's another bedroom here, but the tenants are currently inside. But yeah, gorgeous apartment. This is one thing we do, like these open areas. So open up all the indoor interior walls, create more space, more light. Here we installed uh, floor to ceiling uh, windows and doors. And so you were saying this used to be a brothel, right? Ha! Yes, it was. Uh, Egypt style with pyramids and fountains and it was horrible. The neighbors were very happy we purchased this apartment. Yeah, it doesn't quite look like a brothel anymore. No, it looks like a beautiful, you know, modern, light, European place to live. Cool. And the other bathroom was really nice here. Yeah, right there. Oh, lovely, gosh. So when we have space, we put in tubs, but normally we put in walk-in showers. I really love the, and people enjoy the walk-in shower. It's more modern. And we do special closets for the washing machine or dryer. You can hear them, barely hear them operating right now. So it's uh, soundproofing, it's really effective. It's the little things that make a big difference to one, uh, how a person can live, but um, this market also, it's a premium. Uh, apartments don't have these luxuries, these extra things that we have in the West that are normal. And people coming from the West need these kinds of things. And you can get large rental premiums by properly designing and providing the extras in the apartments. 
So you're saying that if I were to come to Kiev, you should be able to get me something like this for $2,200, $2,300 net after you do the renovation altogether, roughly? Approximately, yes. I think the better way to say is 12%. So as prices go up, so will rents. So it's the... It, Are it's, rents actually going up yes, though? Yes, yes, absolutely. Because I mean, over $4,000 for an apartment is insanely expensive. It's it's like they say, there's uh, two lists for the most expensive cities in the world. One list is Hong Kong, Singapore, uh, New York. The other list is Kinshasa, uh, African cities, Ukraine, Kiev, uh, Moscow. You get a rental premium for having a nice place that's modern, light, and Western styled. So if I were to buy an apartment like this, finished on the open market, how much would I pay per square meter? Well, prices right now for apartments like this in 200 square meter range are about $2,500 per square meter. Okay, so you can get people a discount of roughly 10%, a bit over 10%? Uh, even, Even more, in our case studies of the last three advisory clients, like, let's talk about what we're doing here. Um, you can research online what the market price is, etc. That's not, we're not buying at market. We're not offering you properties at market. We're finding special situations at special prices. Uh, the last three case studies we have on a two hundred to $250,000 investment, we're saving people after our fees, which are 5% of the purchase price and 10% of the renovation, we're saving people $80,000 on average. So that's 30% of the total costs. Our renovation companies are amazing, trustworthy, materials guaranteed, work guaranteed, the proper price. It's not a disaster renovation that can really happen anywhere in the world, even in Canada. You get double or triple charged for your renovation. That won't happen with us. We are offering serious value for the money. Obviously, we're sourcing uh, specific properties with specific stories that are can be substantially cheaper. Uh, like former brothels. <laughs> like former brothels. Actually, I I suggested there's a real dumpster, as you were saying, it's it's an underground place with windows and we bought it for $798 per meter. And it was an illegal gambling club, I think. But uh, for 800 bucks a meter, we'll turn it into an office, we'll make amazing returns. I think for advisory residential though, there, there, there are motivated sellers. It takes time, it takes knowledge, it takes connections in the market. You're not coming here from France and meeting a broker and he's giving you the best deals. It's just not happening here. It doesn't happen anywhere, but it's not happening here as well. And for advisory services, you only take clients that are willing to spend at least $250,000. That is correct. Why? Yeah, that's because there's no lending. So the amount of people that have $100,000 is a lot more than people that have $200,000. So the the market for $100,000 apartments is very competitive is very expensive. We could be talking up to $3,000 a meter. It's much more expensive to renovate and to buy and all the work. It, it, the, the yields aren't there. It's not worth your time, frankly, for the risk of the Ukrainian market. You can get seven to 9%. So generally, I was speaking yeah. with Alex recently, my buyer's agent for smaller units here in, in Kiev. Mm. He can get seven to 9%. That's correct. Close to the center on studios and one bedroom apartments. That's like 70 to $100,000? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so 70 to $100,000, seven to 9%. 200, 250,000, 12%. $800,000, 19%. And that's what we're doing with uh, our other investment funds, yeah. Right now we're buying, uh, it's in another video, uh, 800 meters for $900,000 and we'll get over 19% yield on that. Yeah, no, that's that's impressive. Yeah. What's interesting about such real estate is that you're not participating in the whole Western money printing bubble in the sense that there is almost no mortgage lending here in Ukraine. Yeah. So if you buy an apartment like this, it's an actual hard asset because even if the economy were to crash, prices would, would just not go below a certain level here in Ukraine unless there is a catastrophic war or... Yeah. You know, Chernobyl blows up again or something. Well, let's look at it two two ways. Like we were saying, uh, seventy to one hundred thousand dollar apartment yields seven percent. Well, if there was mortgage and you used your hundred thousand dollar cash to buy a three hundred thousand dollar apartment, that means three hundred thousand dollar apartments now are yielding seven percent from twelve percent. So that's an instant, nearly hundred percent upside. That's the kind of capital gains we're looking at. When cap rates move from 12% to 7%, that's where your capital upside comes from. That's 
that's not market speculation on price increases. That's real cap rate improvements, pricing increases in the value of the underlying asset. That's, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And it's also possible to obtain permanent residency in Ukraine if you buy such mm -hmm. an apartment, for example. So you need to make an investment of at least $100,000 through a local company in Ukraine. And that should get you permanent residency. Now, the caveat is that it takes a long time and it's very bureaucratic. If you need PR, my lawyer's information is, is below, but essentially it's a process that can take up to a year. So you, you do mm -hmm. the whole investment, but then you get PR only a year later. So often people just get temporary residency in the meantime. Getting permanent residency is possible through real estate investments in Ukraine, but you just need to be very patient. And I highly recommend hiring someone to help you with this. This yeah. is not worth your time. This is this bureaucracy is frustrating. It's the best money you'll ever spend is to get someone to help you with this type of thing. Yeah. Also, in advisory services, we recommend that uh, you know they get help uh, opening bank accounts, foreign investment bank accounts for bringing money into the country and. Uh, expatriating the money on the sale of the asset, helping you set up power of his attorney or tax numbers here. You can absolutely do it yourself. Every local person will tell you, oh, do it yourself. It's very cheap. It's not worth your time. It's not. So I've been spending a lot of time in Eastern countries. I speak Russian well. I probably could do all of that paperwork myself, but when I get involved in things here in Ukraine, I just hire professionals to just get the job done for me. Yeah. I do not have the time nor the inclination to be dealing with all the nonsense. I don't want to do seven to 10 years in jail for killing these bureaucrats that waste my time. No, it's absolutely worth it. Yeah. Thank you, John. Pleasure. So if you are interested in the real estate market here in Kiev, in Ukraine, there is a link below to John's newsletter. So he sends regular updates on the market here in Ukraine which are a very good source of information. And then if you're interested in buying real estate here in Ukraine, for at least in Kiev, for at least $250,000, John's email is below as well. Absolutely. Cool. John, Thanks a lot of sauce. Always a pleasure. Always. Cheers.